I have never seen anything like this. A local news helicopter captured the fear and chaos in St. Louis as high school students leapt from a rooftop to escape a young shooter with a long gun. I was trying to run and I couldn't run. <laughs> Me and him made eye contact and I'm glad I made it out because his gun got jammed. It happened at Central Visual and Performing Arts High School on the third floor. Parents racing to school. She's like, Mom, hurry up. They're shooting. She doesn't know how many, she didn't know how many people it was. So I just left work and I just ran here to get her. After the shooter quickly killed two, authorities say police ran towards the gunfire and struck the suspect, Orlando Harris, who attended the school last year and died as officers returned fire. The officers arrived quickly, uh, made entry with no hesitation, went directly to the sound of gunfire, which is the expectation not only of the department but of the community as well. Seven injured were taken to hospitals suffering from gunshot and shrapnel wounds. Among the dead, a beloved teacher, Jean Kuska, and a teenage girl. Survivors recounting the gunman's chilling words. When the uh, intruder broke into her room, then uh, the intruder said, get ready to die. Police not yet releasing a motive for the mass shooting, which happened just after 9 a.m. and was broadcast over the school's PA system. We all thought it's a drill at first. Like, okay, it's just a surprise drill. Okay, we're all good. No, it's a real thing. She said over there, come, yes, this is real. There's an intruder. Please, please be careful. And all hell just kind of breaks loose. Today's quick response from police comes in stark contrast to the massacre in Uvalde, where officers were blamed for systemic failures, including their slow response to engage the shooter. Parents in St. Louis grateful. I'm glad that they went in because I was going to go in too with them. Miguel, I recognize police are just starting this investigation, but what else do we know about the suspect thus far? Well, Lester, we are still learning new details about the suspected 19-year-old gunman. Police say Orlando Harris had almost a dozen 30-round high-capacity magazines on him. He may have been suffering from mental health problems, they say. A big question remains motives. And, Lester, we should point out the police chief says the school doors were locked, which likely slowed down the gunman. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.